Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'm going to be replanting my parlor palm here. The parlor palm, I've had it for several years now. It used to be my grandmother's and when I got it originally it was in a really, really small pot which was then placed within a decorative pot. What I did when I first got it is I, is I took it out the, the, uh, the inner pot and planted it into the decorative pot. This gave it roughly two to three times the growing space but it's grown quite well. It's always been in a very dark location in the house um, and it's done quite well even though it has very little sunlight. Recently I did have it in a sunnier location, it did get a little bit of scorched, you can see here, a bit of damage on some of the leaves. But generally it's done really well, but it's just got to a size now where it really does need a bigger pot. You can see for the size of plant, it does have a very small pot and it's desperately needing repotting. And parlor palms are quite slow growing plants, um, they can get quite large eventually. They're not one of the biggest palms, so they'll never get into a, a tree, but they do get into a small tree or certainly big enough to, to get to the height of a seedling in a house, but it would probably take many, many years to get that height. They're slow growing, and when you normally buy them, you don't get them as individual plants, you get them as about 15 or 20 plants. So if I show you the bottom here, you can see it's actually about 15 or 20 plants all crammed together, um, which means it makes a really kind of bushy kind of plant. It doesn't look like a palm tree, it just looks like a, a mass of leaves. So what I need to do with this one is first of all I need to wash it. Um, I've had it inside the, the new house and I've been doing a lot of renovation work. So a lot of dust is built up on the leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this off in the shower and then I'll come back here once it's mostly dried and then I'll repot it. So I've now washed most of the dust off the plant. You can see it's looking a little bit better. It's not got that horrible dusty appearance to the leaves. They're still not looking at their best because as I say they were scorched by the sun a, a few months ago when I had it in, this, in the brighter location. It's currently quite in a, in a quite dark location again. It is a plant that can handle sunshine, but if you've had it in a dark environment for, for most of its life and you suddenly bring it into bright sunshine without an acclimatization period, the leaves will get scorched because they're used to the dark and they just haven't got the, um, the right pigments in the leaves to protect them from the strong sunshine. I'll take this out of the pot now, see how it looks. It'll be quite interesting to see how the roots are. I suspect they're quite congested. They're probably also spiraling around at the base, so I might have to trim off some of the spiraling roots. But I'll take it out of the pot now and have a look. So it comes out quite easily. And looking here, the root system is actually quite unhealthy. Um, it's not that pot bound, surprisingly, for a plant of this size. And um, there is some active growth in some of these roots, but there's also a lot of dead roots. Um, and there's nothing really spiraling around the base. So what this tells me, the compost wasn't the best for it, it wasn't free draining enough, it's not had enough air getting in and it's probably rotted off a few of the roots over the, over the years. So the compost I'm going to be using is um, a mix of multi-purpose compost with perlite added for a little bit of extra drainage and uh, there's some more air in there so it doesn't rot off as easily. This was planted just in pure multi-purpose compost and that's where we've had some issues. So you can see I've added some perlite to the mix. I've not added a huge amount because this plant grew quite well in, a, um, in the mix without any perlite. And to be honest, parlor palms aren't too fussy when it comes to soil. As long as it's, it's free draining enough, they'll do okay. They don't need an extremely well free draining soil. They are tropical. They're used to a rainforest environment with lots of rain, lots of water. So they can handle a bit uh, damper conditions than some house plants. But they still need to be free draining because although they uh, live somewhere with high rainfall, in between the rainfall it's very hot, the, the soil can dry out quite quickly. So the soil needs to be loose enough that it can drain, drain in between waterings and so that it's not constantly damp and they can get a bit of air into the soil again. So because the roots aren't too congested, I'm not going to need any root pruning. And to be honest, I don't even need to tease the roots out because they're not congested at all. But this will give it a lot more space. Also because of... Um, the compost not being the best for it in the past. I don't think the roots have been too strong. I should expect much stronger root growth this time though because the soil is much more suited for the, uh, for the type of plants. So it should grow much stronger roots, much better root system. So I'm being careful not to push down the soil too much, making sure that it's quite gently pressed down. I'm just basically pressing it down enough that it fills all the gaps and spaces and it gives enough stability that this plant just won't, won't just fall over. Because if, if, I, if I don't, it won't just fall over and it won't have the stability it needs. But um, if, I don't push, if I do push it down too much, what will happen is it will compact the air spaces. Then the roots will struggle to grow like they did previously. 
So that's now fully planted up in its new pot. It certainly looks a lot better. The pot's a much better size for the size of the plant. And to, the, to be honest, this will probably do for quite a few years now. Pile of palms and a lot of palm trees actually can do quite well in small pots. They just lend, they lend the root system lend themselves quite well to a small pot and they can survive in a smaller pot than an average other plant would normally survive in. So this will probably do another two or three years, especially as it's a slow growing palm and I'm growing it in a shady location so the, gro so the growth will be particularly slow. It's also a much nicer looking pot as well. The last one is really getting quite sun bleached. Um, it, kind of got, it was a dark red color originally, but it's now got a light pink. And to be honest, with all the water in there, it's probably eventually going to start getting rusty as well. So this pot, I'll have to be quite careful with watering for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's a new pot. It's, there's a large amount of compost that it's previously had, so it'll take much longer to dry out. So until the roots are fully established within the pot, I need to be careful not to let it get too wet. Otherwise, it will stay wet for a long time as the roots aren't in all the compost, so they can't absorb moisture from the whole compost. And also, because this pot doesn't have any holes in the bottom of it, I have to be very careful that it doesn't get waterlogged because it'll be very easy for the water to just kind of pile up at the bottom and become waterlogged. I could even get a situation where the top is quite dry but the bottom is soaking wet. Shouldn't get that too much because this um, doesn't have too much perlite in it so that the moisture should wick through the cold compost quite evenly. There's plenty of uh, multi-purpose compost in there which transfers the moisture through the compost quite easily. If I had a lot of free draining material in there it might be different but this kind of compost that shouldn't be an issue. So that's probably all for this video. Um, this is going to be quite a while until, until there's another update I would think. I haven't decided fully where this is going finally. I suspect it won't be in the con conservatory because that would be too bright for it. It's always been in a dark location. So I'm going to find somewhere in the house. Where it is at the moment it gets almost no light whatsoever so it hasn't really put on any growth recently. I need to find somewhere a little bit lighter but without any direct sunlight so it can grow well with a good light level but without getting scorched by the sun. So I'll have a look around the house, find a better location for this so it can get some stronger growth and hopefully get into a large plant. I would like this to come into a large palm tree eventually um, and with the low light levels and giving it, it's gonna probably take 30, 40 years to get to that size. So I'll give it some brighter light levels and increase the, the growth rate. But as I say, it's a slow growing plant. So it might be a couple of years to be honest until there's another update. But, but by that time, it might need repotted again. We'll just see how it does. But I suspect this pot will do it at least two or three years.